And it's adventure time. We're just going to go time, on adventure? The time when we go on an adventure. It is the adventure time. Uh, we're just going to start off at Twin Peaks here and head east and see what happens. And we'll do some hunting along the way. Hey, where are you? I'm, I'm coming. Okay. I, I have many fond memories hunting Argo Youngs here. Oh, I've, the years. I have spent many, many hours out this way hunting Argos. Oh, this I always feel like memories. I had good luck with Argos. Argos were some of my favorite. I did the, uh, I did the uh, uh, what you call it, the mission thing. Um, the, the iron mission. Iron mission. Yeah, I, that uh, thing. The iron, iron missions. I think I did that. It, uh, I think the first one was like 1,000, and then the second one was 5,000, and the third one was like 10,000 or something. I think I did all three of those. You did the 10K one? Oh, yeah. It took you like, it literally took like, I think it was like a year and a half or something to, to finish it, but I did it. That's how many Argos I've hunted. It's a lot of Argos. That's how many times I've run down this path before. Oh, this brings back memories. This was like early Entropia days for me. Every time I play this game, I think, man, I wish I played this game more. And that means you're addicted. <laughs> no, I really don't play it much at all, so it's like... I'm not really addicted, guys. It, it is, a, it is like an addicting type of a game. Oh, yeah. I know every time I play some other MMO, I always think, man, I really wish I was playing Entropia right now. Because Entropia, yeah. it feels like you're... Even if you go out like on a hunt and you don't really make anything you're still it, gaining something yeah it feels well, it feels like you're you're still like your time's not wasted it feels like it doesn't feel like you're wasting your time which it feels that way for me at least starting out in a lot of different mmos just like running click here click this click here click this click here click this yeah it's like man what? i just spent like an hour and a half or i just spent two hours doing something and now i have nothing to show for it but in entropia it's like wow i have like let's go show our lack of pets yeah. I am so sorry, my phone. I forgot to put it on vibrate. Oh, are you getting before we started recording. Is Otacon calling you? I'm so popular. Yeah, that's, that's like sometimes I just don't answer when he calls. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Why didn't we drive up here? That is an excellent question. Well now see we're we're in we're in Argo territory now, so like we're we're where we should that? go right. We should go right here. Okay. Hey, let's kill this thing. I want to explore towards the rightward. I'm killing this guy. How do I run faster than you? Uh, you probably have... I'm probably over encumbered with bear pelts, and you probably have <laughs> higher agility than me. Yeah, dragon bones and dragon scales. Mm-hmm. Those dang dragon scales, because you don't even know what to do with them, and... But you're like, well, I can you gotta make dragons. You, you make dragon too, armor. You make, you make yeah, armor. Really. Yeah, do you, do you realize what level you have to be of smithing to do that? Nope. 100. Is that high? I looked it up on the internet. Yes, it's like, I'm like four. Oh. I never I do know. smithing in Elder Scrolls games. That seems like... I never, I know, I, I never did any of that. And then I was talking to my one friend then one day, and he was like, yeah, he's like, you don't do that? He's like, I have a, I have a bow that can take down a dragon with one hit. I'm like, what? You can do that? He's like, yeah. There's like, yeah, there's like a lot to those games that I don't really put. Oh, yeah. There's I just a... explore around. I'm like, this is cool looking. That's what I do. I do a lot of the side quests, which the game never ends with the side quests. It just keeps Literally on going. Literally never ends. Like, the, like I played, anytime uh, you go anywhere, you're like, oh, I just started four, north, four new things. I played <clears> in <throat> Oblivion for I don't know how many hours. Like, it was definitely over 100 hours, and it was still just like, I'm, I'm still doing stuff. This game never ends. Which is awesome. That's what I love about those games. That's why I still play that. Speaking of which, we got E3 coming up here pretty soon. And the rumor is that Fallout 4 will be announced. Oh, I, I hope they announce it at QuakeCon when we're there, because that would make me feel special. Well, they'll probably announce it at E3. No. No. Oh. Yeah, there's probably a little more co coverage for E3. I'm sure that you know what they'll do. This is what. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Are we ready? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. They are going to announce it at E3, and say they're gonna mention, check out something. That we'll be doing a video at QuakeCon. I think they might do that. Yeah. Because then they can advertise for QuakeCon and for Fallout 4. 
I could, I could, I, I mean, could maybe, maybe I see that. They haven't done many Bethesda things at QuakeCon, but I, I could see them wanting to do more. They, we did a first look. I remember reading on Kotaku before I went to QuakeCon that there was going to be a first look at uh, first playthrough Skyrim or something rather. Don't you remember that? Yeah, and they did that at QuakeCon, but they also did the same thing. Uh, either it was either E3 or some other event beforehand. Like that wasn't the first time they got no. to see that. It may have been like the first time like the regular public got to see it live, but yeah, like non-press. Yeah, which I could I could see them doing something like that for Fallout Four. Although uh, I mean, left or right? Uh, left. Okay. But it depends. It depends how far along they are in development too, because they announced Skyrim. Um. Oh, I don't remember. It was. It was. It was pretty far in advance before they did like the an actual gameplay demo or anything like that. So I think I want to say they announced it in like November or something of some year. I feel like Wait, it was pretty early. Is this a dead end? I hope not. That's kind of what I was worrying about. I would hope they wouldn't make it like you run down this long thing and you're like, oh, let's run back down the long thing. I've done that before. Where you just start running somewhere and you get stuck. I think there's an opening here. Does yeah. this game work in 4K? Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm making a 4K computer, everybody, and I'm going to be doing a build video, so stay tuned for that. It will be great. Man, I, want, I haven't built a PC in so long. Yeah, it's been like eight years. I'm, I'm very excited, and it's gonna that. be 4K. So, I just can't wait to play. Oh, I, I want to play like Dota two in 4K. I want to play Minecraft in 4K. I want to play Counter Strike and. Oh, are, like you, all those... are you playing on your new monitor right now? No, it doesn't work. Oh, oh. With my, my laptop, tr just starts melting. Oh, that's too bad. It's sitting behind it though. I'm looking at it right now. It's just not showing any pixels. Have you hooked up um, to your X-Bone or your PS4 yet? No. No. Kind of should do that, shouldn't I? I've heard... See, I don't I don't know... I don't think the PS4 will do 4K yet, and I've heard conflicting reports on the X-Bone. There is so many mobs here. I just... My armor is getting pummeled. Man, I think we're, we're going to die... I am worried that my ha my I'm not gonna be able to fap quick enough. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. They need to change the name of that. There's so many things in this game. It's like, yo, bro, fap me. It's, it's you got your fapping, you got your sweating, you got your swanting. Oh, it's like, guys, it's <laughs> well, it's because they don't. They need like a Swedish English correspondent. That's like a liaison. And hip. Yeah. Yeah. Let me read that. Hey, no, that... guys, we should not call these hey, things fat. I was running through your whole list of stuff there. I saw the whole fap thing. You don't want to. Yeah, you're not going to. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't. Yeah. That's not a thing for that you want to do or say. <laughs> so why don't we just make the name almost any other word than that? <laughs> Like, there we go. Call it like a like a like instead of a pack, change the P to a D. Call it a device or something. Bam! Why do I only have thirty eight shots? I just bought sixty ped of BLP ammo. Why is this yellow? That's that's universal ammo. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. Yeah, I only have 14 shots of universal ammo, but I got other ammo. Hey, Mollusk. Yeah, we got something different, everybody. <clears throat> so, E3. What are you most excited about for E3? I want to see Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy. Um, Fallout Metal 4. Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. Solid. Now that's that actually. I think that has a release date now. That's supposed to be. Zelda. I think it's uh, September. Oh yeah, there's Zelda. Have we seen anything since last E3 about Zelda? Not that I'm aware of. They may have released like a few 
maybe a screenshot or something. Nothing substantial. Sweet, a sweet desktop background. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a yeah, Wii I'm, theme. Oh, it's so many things that I'm going to have to spend money on. Zelda, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Final Solid Fantasy. is like right around the corner. Like that, I think it's in September is that supposed to be released. Which is like not that far away. But there's also all those other things that like you never hear about and then you see it at E3. I remember, oh, the new Mirror's Edge game. I didn't know that was a thing. You know, what? Have you seen there's the trailer for that? No. Oh, it looks insane. Is that is that two or am I really out of date? Is it? No, is yeah, it's it's the second one. Oh, okay, yeah. Which is great. It's been so long. How long was that? How long ago was that? Uh, I think it was, Edge one. It was 2008. Was was the first Mirror's Edge? I was six ped right there. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeehaw. But I remember it was E3 probably 2007 or so. Maybe it was 2008. It was probably E3 2008. It was when I first saw Mirror's Edge. And then, like, I, you know, never heard anything about that before. And it was just, like, out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, it was like, I need this game. This looks amazing. Yeah, that was, like, a really unique game style. That's that's what I'm looking forward to this E3. And it was kind of like that with No Man's Sky. I remember watching the... It was the Sony press conference. I was watching that live... Uh, watching their live stream. And it was... And I had never seen anything, never heard anything about it. And, you know, it's it's their tr little trailer thing kind of started off with this guy walking around, like, woods or it's the forest and stuff. And there's all these alien creature things. So it's like, okay, this looks like a this looks like an interesting indie game. Well, I wonder, you know, didn't really mm -hmm. expect much. And then he walked over and there was, like, this ship just sitting out, like, in, like, the open. And he gets in the ship and it's like, oh, this is turning into kind of a sci-fi type deal. And then he gets in the ship... And he flies out into space, and then he's like flying around, and he lands on a planet, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, it went from just like, just a normal... I don't, I can't remember, I don't know if I saw that. Like, it seemed just like your typical indie game. It looked like an interesting indie game, and then the next thing you know, you're flying out into space. And it was, it was such like a, like a holy crap, this looks awesome type moment. And then the first thing that came to mind when he's flying into space, and then he like landing on planets and stuff. The first thing that came to mind was, man, this is this is what Entropia needs to be like. There's a lot of things I was like, oh, I wish Entropia was just like that. Or yeah, because like it was it was a smooth transition. You know, Entropia, you fly into space, and it's like, do you want to enter space? And you click the box, and then the next thing you know, you just you're, you're in space. But this game, No Man's Sky, it was a it was a smooth transition. You just you get in your ship and you just fly straight to space. Does that game have a release date? I don't. I think it's sometime this year. I the last thing I read, it was they said something. It was some kind of I don't know what it was. Not a delay in development, but there was something something not good in development of the game. I don't remember. They stopped development. Yeah, they just canceled it. Yeah, it was not. It was kind of not good. <laughs> I don't think it was that. It was it was something like that. Like it wasn't a major problem, but it was of concern. Speaking of canceled development things, freaking yeah, really. Silent what is up Hills. With that? How is that? Like I want to know what he did. I feel like he had to have done something terribly illegal. Like I don't even know. Like or what? Makes... What did Konami do that made well, him did... like screw this amount? Did he leave or did they fire him? Uh, it's I, I haven't heard for sure either way. I can see him because I've heard I've heard rumors and stuff that he was not having a good time over there. If anyone doesn't know who we're talking about, we're talking about um, Ko Kojima, the guy yeah. who made Hideo Kojima, the guy who made Metal Gear Solid. So he's pretty much the coolest guy in the world because yep. Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation blew my mind when I was a kid. I had the demo and the jam pack, and it was awesome and amazing. Anyway. The uh, horror game that he was developing, it came. The demo. The new came Silent out, Hill the, game. It was the PT uh, demo that came oh, out. It was PT like a, was insane. Yeah, it was terrifying. I didn't play. I didn't. Even, I honestly didn't even finish it. Most horror games these days aren't really. They don't really scare you. You, you, no, you got, you got your Resident Evil. You got your. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. The insert horror game name here, but it, it's not. They're not really. I mean, they have scary elements to them, but they're. You don't feel genuinely. No, this genuinely was like scared. intelligently designed, terrible. Yeah, PT the, the playable hard. trailer for PlayStation was, which was a demo for 
for Silent the new Silent Hill game. Oh man, and, it was so I mean well done. The well, it doesn't doesn't hurt that the graphics were the best looking graphics I've ever seen in a video game. Yeah, like, it looked it looked like there the were lighting, moments where you, like like if you took screenshots of it, it looked like photographs. Like it it looked like a terrifying photograph. photographs. It was just so it was so smartly done too. Like you just have to walk up to this thing and then when you turn around and it's just it's terrible yeah like it, it was, was just, it would be like it was you'd, horrible you'd walk it was up just to absolutely the, horrible it was horrible I was screamed I wanted to throw my controller and break I, my TV. I played through it with other people I don't think I could do it by myself like that I literally screamed like it sounded like a girl I was like the one time it just caught me off guard and I was like ah! what and then like, I turned it yeah, off. Yeah, like there's a moment where you walk <clears> up to like a radio, and there's a radio that has like your typical radio broadcast, and then just in the middle of it, it's like look behind you, and you like you turn around, and there's like this thing behind you that's like attacking you. It's and, a very terrible thing, and it looks like real life. And it's yeah, it's it was. I remember I read some interview with with him with Kojima, and he said like that he hates horror games, like he's so scared of horror games and stuff. And so he thought that would be like the perfect mix for him to do a horror game because then he can he can design exactly what he's yeah that's like scared perfect because oh, and it then was, he didn't and it was and so... then the game got canceled the most amazing looking game in the world the most terrifying playing game in the world got canceled and it was it was shaping up to be one of the greatest masterpieces like ever can, hold on who owns the rights to Silent Hill can they continue with without him. Uh, uh, Konami owns the rights. The- so they can. So what do they even? So the game could still whatever they have currently. Could they still release it and or like build off of that? Or do they have some kind of? Probably they know? probably own the rights to it, but they have. The, They've got to have some kind of that, paperwork. They have their guys yeah. that basically owned it and were running it. I, I don't know. And they had a they had what's his name? Wait, so silent was Silent Hill canceled or was just Kojima kicked off of the? Word word is that the game was canceled. That doesn't even make sense. That demo would have made money if they if they that doesn't make. There was <laughs> there were. Oh why I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of foe and beer. <laughs> there are there are people selling their PlayStations because the game the PT demo was pulled off the PlayStation Store, and there are people selling their PlayStations with the game pre-installed. Oh mine! Wait, mine still has it, doesn't it? Probably. And uh, Dang. It, it got to the point where eBay had to cancel any auctions they found of people selling that. I don't Wait, know why, why exactly, but but eBay started pulling auctions that people were selling their their PS4s with the game pre-installed. See, I don't <clears> know how that works. I thought it was tied to your account, so I don't know if you have to sell it with your account or what the deal is, but. I wonder if you can um, like mod it and get it installed. What are these things? No, oh, that's it. Nothing. Bunch of nothing. But yeah, and it had a and it, they it's it was starring Norman Reedus, Daryl. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, really? Darryl? Yeah, you didn't know that? I don't know actors' names, and I'm proud of it. I don't care. Yeah, the guy that plays Daryl from The Walking Dead, he was supposed to be the main character. I wish I didn't know his name is Norman Reedus. That's the worst name ever. <laughs> That's so yeah. not BA. But yeah, they did like a full like they they did like a full motion capture and everything. Like it's like the screenshots looked like him. What? Now I'm pissed. Yeah. Yeah. It was wow. it was basically that a digitized a, version of him was in with, the game. Was the movie with, character. Are you with like, with the how popular Walking Dead is, and how he's like one of the most. Pe- how is that game not being a thing? I know, right? See, that's that's what's upsetting. I, that makes me want. I want to read up on that now. Maybe it's still coming. Mm, that's not the latest, but who knows? Who knows? But apparently, uh, Konami if, went all crazy on it. Like they pulled so with Metal Gear Solid and everything, they pulled Kojima's name off of everything. Silent Hill removes Kojima logo. Sequel still not canceled. That's the most really? wonderful thing. That's what I, that's what I read on GamerRant.com. Obviously, everything you get from there is straight up truth. Oh yeah. What? Well, that's exciting. I was... Holy crap! That is him. Yeah. See, I told you. Oh, what the? See, I did, I honestly haven't paid much attention to this game. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's that's exciting that it's not canceled. See, I I have mixed feelings about that though because because then it's not Kojima. I want to know what yeah. he would have done. Whatever he would have done would have been better than whoever the heck it could. Like I don't what I don't know. I'd like to know who's actually making the decisions and why they feel justified in telling Kojima what to do when he obviously has amazingly well selling games under his belt. That doesn't oh, make yeah. any sense. I mean Metal Gear Solid like, is one of the biggest games of all time. Who would let I don't it just unless someone else also has sold games, they need to shut up because they have no idea what they're talking about. Yep. I don't get I don't get things. Office politics, I'm sure. The moron. Dang Asians. Yep. If it was done in America, it'd be perfect. Because <laughs> everything in America is perfect. <laughs> exactly. And there'd be more guns. <laughs> so, mixed feelings about the Silent Hills game now. I have hope. I have hope. But we'll see. Hope. That's how Obama says hope. Yeah. Hope. Did you did you ever finish the PT game? No, no, oh. I would not. That like to was, actually beat it, like you have to do all this crazy stuff. Yeah, I I got to a point where I was just running around doing the same thing, and I was terrified, and I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, I can't take this level of stress in my life right now, and I turned it off. Yeah, it's it's so simple, but it's so well done. Oh, that baby thing or whatever. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. That, yeah, that, that scary. That rustle, rustle your jimmies. It jimmied my rustles. No. Oh. It was scary. Oh man, just like the oh, the whole that that whole thing. It was so simple. Like it's one hallway. It's basically one hallway with like a few different features, but it's so so well done. I mean, it's a freaking demo that got this much attention. It's got to be doing something right. Yeah, I had friends with Xboxes that were jealous that I had a PS4. They were like, I wish I could play that. It's probably, and I don't, I don't really like get actually frightened by most video games, but that was probably the most, like the actually the most scariest game I've ever played. So I, I've done my research, usually around October time. I try to find some some really good scary games to play, and most of them really aren't that scary. Even the ones you know, I'll look up list of top ten scariest video games of all time, and most of them are really they're not that scary. Slenderman scared me. I didn't like Slenderman. Slenderman was a good one, but you know, it's usually games like uh, you know Resident Evil or Outlast. How was Fatal Frame? Fatal Frame was, Fatal Frame was. I mean, it was a good game. It's definitely a good game. It's not. It's creepy. There, are, there are moments where you're like, where you, maybe you get to a certain point and then you realize you gotta backtrack a little bit and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go over there. It's too scary. But it's yeah. not. It's not nearly the same level as PT. Like you, it's still a game. You still play through it and you, you get through it and everything's fine. But PT was one of those games where it was like. You just you didn't want to play it. like you wanted to put the controller down and just give up just because it was like nope no nope, I'm not doing which this. made you want to keep playing it like, exactly that, that I was would, the genius I, of I it. would probably end up buying Silent what, was that actually anything to do with Silent Hill or would the was it just running in the engine like was Silent Hill possibly no that that it? was that was a, basically a demo for Silent Hill the Silent Hills game like if, once you actually beat the demo it it played a trailer for Silent Hills can you imagine a whole game like that. I know, that's like what was so amazing. Yeah, exactly. Like a game that you just, like, you didn't even want to play. Like, you, I don't want to turn it on. I'm not turning it on. I'm not doing like this. Like, if you, if, you, if you actually beat it, you accomplish something. And be like, exactly. Jeez, like, dude. How'd you do that? Like there that aren't, sounds terrible. Yeah, like, there aren't many games that can do that. Like, Resident Evil is not really all that scary. Uh, yeah, Resident, uh, Resident Evil is, like, one step away from Left 4 Dead, where it's just, like, Everything's running at you, and you're just like, yep. yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. And, Left 4 Dead usually shows up on the on the list of like top ten scariest yeah, that's games. Like not, it's so just, it's like a first person shooter with, yeah, just, yeah. It's, that's like a Resident. Like a I remember creepy vibe. Buying, I bought Resident Evil Four, and it was a great game. But did you have that for GameCube? I had it for, I had the re, like the, I don't know if it was remastered, but the souped out version for Wii. 
Oh, okay. And like the first ten it. minutes or so is kind of scary, cause but then after that it's just like, oh, it's just a game. Like you don't you don't actually f like feel fear. Yeah. Like you do with PT. Like PT, it was like, like I I actually I cannot play that by myself. Like I would not be able to sit in a room by myself at night and be able to play that. I'd Can you imagine like with your lights off? Yeah. See, like I can't. I've done that with other people, and when you have other people in the room, that's scary yeah, enough. Yeah, that definitely helps. But it's like, I, I couldn't do that by myself. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. And that's saying something. Are you going to get one of those uh, Tesla batteries for your home? See, everyone's everyone's like flipping out about like this, and they're talking about how it's like the the latest, like the new. What is it that's so revolutionary? Just the fact that you can, is it like what's the most benefit? I'm sure there's like different I, I things, but is it that you can pull power at off peak time and then use it at on peak? Because is there that big of a difference between that? I think that's the selling point, but at the end of the day, I don't know, like what it is. Like I know what it is, but like what's it? It's a I mean, is it any different than the battery pack you get with a big solar panel kit? It's lithium ion, but it's just a it's a pack of batteries. It's a battery. And he's like revolutionizing the world or something with it. I so guess it has a cool logo. It has I, a cool head. I haven't I priced mean, out like normal like a like a competitive What is it? Thirty five hundred bucks or something? For the unit, but then you need to pay for like installation and all the other stuff that goes along with it. Oh. So I don't I don't know. I haven't priced out lithium ion batteries for other stuff, so I don't know like how the price compares. Maybe it's like way cheaper than the than the competition, but it sounds cheap. I mean freaking just double A's are freaking expensive. But at the end of the day it's like it's a it's a battery. Like what is it how is this different from other battery other lithium ion batteries? But one thing that, at least, I mean, it seems like Tesla is really good at. They're, they're like the Apple. They're like Apple in the sense that they are really good at marketing and branding and creating like a like a culture around their products. Yeah, and making people throw money at them. Exactly. I mean, just look at Apple and the Apple Watch. What does the Apple Watch do differently? It's it's the same thing as any other Android watch. But what do they do? They they market it. They're really good at marketing. And creating a brand identity. I think Are they coming out with a crappier version of that? Like, there's a stupid expensive one, right? Oh yeah, there's like three or f three or four different levels, I think, for the Apple Watch. They have the they have like the normal person one that's like two fifty or three hundred dollars, and then they have like a slightly more crazier person's version, and then they have like the insane person edition. Yeah, which is like fifteen thousand dollars or whatever. And why does it have like diamonds or something in it? Uh, I do believe it is solid gold. Yeah, that helps. I don't know if it has diamonds, but I so heard gold is is worth a yeah. decent amount. That is something that's really interesting to see what Apple's doing now. This is something they're doing very differently. That'll be really interesting to see if it pans out. It seems like they're they're not just creating a smartwatch. Like it's not just a smartwatch. What they're creating is they're, it's a fashion accessory. Oh yes. Which is really interesting to see how this is going to work because, I mean, just look at, like, you know, Rolex. Nobody buys a Rolex because they want to know what time it is. That's not the point. It's it's a fashion accessory. I mean, even, even a watch that costs, like, $100, you know, you pay any more than, like, I don't know, I haven't gone watch shopping, $25. You know, if you're paying $50, $100, $1,000 for a watch, you're not mm. buying it because you want to see what time it is. Yeah, it's a fashion accessory, and that's that's a statement piece. Exactly, and that's what's really interesting about the Apple Watch. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out because, as far as I know, it's like the first time that a company has intentionally like made a piece of technology, a piece of modern technology that's also like the the purpose of it. It's like a it's a fashion accessory, mm -hmm. and you could kind of argue that MacBooks are kind of fashion accessories but oh i mean yeah any like apple i mean i guess anything luxury becomes within that realm where it's not necessarily fashion but it's like a statement about uh status yeah like a mercedes like 
at a certain level, you can get a car that can perform in every way as good as a Mercedes and probably be just as comfortable, but it may not have the fanciest type of wood inside and it won't be have a Mercedes logo. Yeah. Not that I have a problem with sweet brands. But I think the difference here is that like this is such a huge difference in price. Um, yeah, it's it's so excessive. It's just kind of seen by most people. I think is silly. I mean, because you can get like for a MacBook, for example, you can. I mean, a MacBook, a, a comparable PC is probably I don't know a few hundred dollars less. Yeah. But this is like, you know, a ten thousand dollar difference here. And it tells time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a smartwatch, but still. So it should be really interesting to see how this pans out and, and see how consumers react to this. Where's our globals? Remember when I got that global at your house on Argos? Yeah. Wasn't that a Hoff or was that? Yeah, was it that? was. I forget how much it was. Like, was that? Five hundred. What year QuakeCon so? was that? No, that was not QuakeCon. That was um, uh, that was uh, in March. Right. That was March of 2010. You that was five <laughs> years ago. That's crazy. I remember that was fun. Half a decade ago. I was yelling and clapping and stuff. Yeah, that was fun. What? <laughs> what? That was a fun day. Everyone was like watching too. Yeah. Didn't I like run into a big group? I'm like, watch, I'm going to get a good loot because I got all them beating on me. Yeah, you had like eight of them on you. You know what I originally thought would be cool, but I figured it would kind of just be... A novelty, but even though it sounds cool, it's just a novelty, but it's probably not that useful. But I found out it is useful. What? Adjusting my thermostat from my phone. It is so nice to be like sitting at my computer and being like, I'm cold. And you just like open your phone like, and it's like, and your air conditioning pops on. Or you're at home, or you're you're away from home and you're like, holy crap, it's hot. I wonder what my house is at. And I'm like, Oh, I'm going to put it down two degrees so when I get in, it's like running and extra cool and all the humidity is gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can just do that. It's I, amazing. I would love to be able to do that. Or if you, you're, if you know nobody's home and it's like, oh, the air conditioning is Yeah, you, I've done that like too. I'm like, time. I was like, oh, shoot, I'm just going to turn this off. We're going to be gone for the next day. So I'm just going to like turn it off. And I forgot to do it before I left. <laughs> it's great. And you can get thermostats that are way cheaper than nests. There's Wi-Fi versions that don't have LCD screens, so they really don't cost much more at all. Oh, yeah. See, the the problem, I, I need to figure out, like, the compatibility and stuff, because I got one of those, like, fancy smart meter things, and then they give you this fancy thermostat to work with the smart meter. No. Yeah. So I wonder, like, if you can get other ones that are compatible that can still do all the smart meter jazz, or if you have to use there, I don't, I don't need to figure that out. These Argos look weird. I mean mollusk. Remember when they used to have like <coughs> more of like a art like a helmet thing on their head? Yeah. Do their eyes still glow? I don't think so. They used to be all like pretty scary looking. Now they kinda look like a It's like a shaved beaver. Like a sack boy. It's, yeah, like that. You ever play Little Big Planet? Uh I had yes, a little bit. That was a fun game. That's a great like party game. Uh, like multiplayer, I'd never played much multiplayer. We did that the one year Ocean City. I have it for, for PS3, the original one. It came with my PS3 because I got a Black Friday special. But where I didn't, did that honestly... come from? Was that your little big planet that year? Did you own that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I okay. It. I was like, who bought that? I just that? told you I own it because I got it from a Black oh. Friday special where it came with my PS3. Oh yeah. Do you not ever listen to what I'm saying? Yeah, ra all? rarely, rarely. Like when I'm. Pouring out my heart, you don't listen? No. Oh. What were we talking about? I don't know. I'm just, so I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna go to bed. Hmm. I'm sad. Oh. You probably didn't hear that, though. No. Where are we? Are we even. I don't even know. Where are we? We are south of Twin. Oh, wow. We are way south. What's this What's this little bubble over here? Strength Keep? Hmm? Huh? See that? See the little bubble on the map? Southeast. Bubble on, bubble on the Do you map. not have that one? Just run towards us. Let's go there. Okay. Oh, check it out. It's like a castle. What? You see this? We found a castle. There's a this castle. Is, is this like Skyrim up in here? It looks like it. Let's storm the castle. Let's do it. What if you could buy this? This looks awesome. See, this is the type of stuff this game... This game needs more... I, 
A dollar says there's nothing here, though. Yeah. See, if you walked in here and then, like, there was a guy that was like, hey, I got a quest for you. And he started this, like, crazy quest. There's a statue. I think this is someone's house. Yeah, you get in, it's like, hey, this is my estate, but it's been overrun by this thing, and... <clears throat> oh, it is somebody's house. Holy dump, what does this place cost? Whoa, that is a sweet looking rug. I did not know you could buy estates like this. Or I, oh, oh. <coughs> Interesting I'm artwork. request the owner. Interesting artwork. What do they, what do they got there? Uh, there's babes. Naked babes? Mm, no. Where? Oh, never mind. Dude, I did not know you could buy a castle. We've never done a, a tour of my apartment. Oh, that's right. You do have an apartment. I always forget I do. that. It's very empty and boring. Oh. It's in Sakura City. I've been there. I go there sometimes to hunt Aatroxes. There's sweet... Uh, Man, this is lagging. There's sweet yeah, this is uh, lagging Sakura trees bad. in it. This is cool. This is like Shower the coolest cabin. house I've ever seen. I found a oh, shower. Boy. He left the water running. This is not good for the environment. Can I shower with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's got a storage terminal. This is pretty sweet. I'm out on a balcony. Me too. Dude, look at this. He's got like lawn, outdoor lawn chairs. I... Who, you can who buy owns wicker this? couches. How can you buy wicker? I did not know you could buy wicker couches in this game. Who owns this? Who's the guy that I owns don't know. This? I was gonna look and then I didn't. Oh, he's got a he's got a gift wrap box. That's neat. He's got the head of something, of several things. Yeah, there's many heads in there. Oh, what's that? this game is good. Hey, a laptop. Genesis, wait, Genesis Star Rookie Finder. What is that? What's a rookie finder? Is this a mining thing? A rookie? I have no idea. A lot of artwork in here. It's quite accessorized, I, I, I must say. <laughs> they, I like what they've done at the place. It's, it's very. Did you see the wicker outdoor furniture and the bonfire? No, there's a bonfire. I am hanging out on a wicker wonderland with a bonfire. Oh yeah, there's a couch. There's a freaking there's a... grill, grilling burgers and hot dogs and. Holy crap! There is. Do you see the? Get over here. And yeah, look at the grill. I'm looking at. Oh, it. You're... oh, hey. Hey. I. When did this become a thing? Barbecue. Oh, you can buy this for... Hold on. You can buy this and. Okay, we're gonna do a video called Exec. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. That sounded inappropriate. What I meant to say was accessorizing John's apartment. Yeah. Right. Get you a barbecue inside in a, of my apartment. In a bonfire. A Zen campfire. Can't you? I think you can put like kitchen furniture, or cabinets, and such in there. All right. So that was our uh, adventure hunting time. We uh, we found a castle. We found a castle. That was that was probably the most exciting thing that happened here. It's probably yeah. It, this whoever this guy is, he's got himself a castle. He's got himself he a, a little sweet barbecue. Crib. Yeah, he, he has accessorized the place quite well. Uh, outdoor barbecue, wicker patio furniture. I really like what he's done with the place. I'd live here. Oh, he's got mm -hmm. pina coladas. There's a pina colada on the table. Alcohol. I mean, yes. What more can you want? And some mold wine and a picnic basket. And a grill and with a, a steak. And a grill. They got steaks. So, uh, there you go, we, we, uh, I don't think we made anything on our hunt, um, but... No, I doubt it. But we found but a that's castle. to be expected. Yeah. We found a castle, and that's worth it. That's totally worth it, so. We also explored through unexplored territory. And, yeah, next time I log in, I'll probably run south and see what else is down there. So, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye now.